Hey guys, welcome to Franklin Woodworks. This is my outstanding DIY air filtration unit made with only a 20 inch box fan and some cheap filters. I think it works great. But many, and I do mean many, concerned viewers commented that my design was way too inefficient. I'm paraphrasing, but when you suspend a fan in a large open area, and expect for air to uniformly pass through that large open area, it just isn't going to happen. The corners on the inside, since there was no fan blade passing through that space, was just churning air, making the motor work hard and accomplishing little. My reply was always the same. I'm completely happy with how well it works. It's good enough for me. One commenter opined that mediocrity was the opiate of the masses. Well, the truth was, I was satisfied with how well it worked. But I began to think, if I can increase the efficiency, maybe I could run it at a lower speed and have less noise and get the same results. So I finally decided to do something about it. I'm going to remove the box part of the box fan altogether which means I'm going to have to make my own motor mount. This is easy enough. Just cut two strips of three-quarter inch plywood to the dimensions of the inside of the housing and use the original mounts to mark where the mounting holes should go. I drilled out those holes, attached the motor, which had to be done inside the housing, and made sure it was a good fit. Now I had to make the baffle that will go around the blades of the fan. I could have made this out of 8th inch material, but I decided to go with half inch plywood. This will make the spacing and mounting of the guts go much more smoothly. After I cut the plywood to size, I use a circle cutting jig to cut out the center. Now I can slide the baffle into the housing, tack it into place, and get the spacing right for the fan. I figured out that I needed one inch spacers from the baffle that I will use to attach the motor mounts. Once everything was tacked into place, I used a hot glue gun to make the wiring nice and neat. I guess the hardest part was getting this thing mounted back onto the ceiling. One thing I learned was not to use your really slick table saw to stand on. That was a close one. But I got everything mounted, reinstalled the filters, and gave it a test run. Now, I don't have any measuring equipment for CFM or wind speed, but I did notice a difference. Maybe about a 15 to 20% improvement. Not as much as I anticipated, but still not bad. The result is that I can run the unit at a lower speed and still get roughly the same efficiency as before at a much lower noise level. I'm running this in the background to give you an idea of how loud or quiet it may be, but I have to tell you I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's running at a much lower speed with the same amount of air movement and it's much quieter. I'll leave a link below in the description to the original plans for the unit made by Richard McIntosh over at the Sawdust Maker. I encourage you to go over and check them out. As far as mediocrity being the opiate of the masses, I think if you pull the average guy and put him on a bell curve, mediocrity is okay. Well, I hope this gives you some good ideas for your shop. Thanks for watching, and there you go. loud or quiet it may be and would you shut up hush <laughs>